everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, I don't know if you can tell, but I am holding a vlogging camera. So it's a little bit different than normal. I don't know, I just had an idea of sharing my house updates with you because we've been in this house now almost two years and we've made a lot of changes and a lot of the changes actually have taken place in the last few months. And so I just wanted to share them with you. So it's gonna be kind of a vlog style, show you some befores and afters and we have some major plans, like renovation plans coming up very soon. So I'm gonna actually show you the before. I'm gonna take you into my bathroom, our master bathroom that is, okay, it's not awful. It's not awful, that sounds so uppity. Um, it's just outdated and I never really have shown it before because I really don't like it, but we are completely changing it. So that's coming up, but there's a lot of things outside and inside of the house that I thought you guys might be interested in. Um, since it's a vlog style and I keep wearing this shirt, let me just show you a little out, outfit of the day. Um, and then I'll take you around and we'll have fun together. So let's get started. Okay, so since this is a style channel, I thought I would share my outfit of the day, even though it's super casual. If you've been following me on Instagram, <laughs> you've seen it a lot. But um, I keep getting questions about this tank top because it's such a pretty beige color. It's just from Amazon. It comes in a pack of two. They are super affordable, really stretchy. I think this is a size extra small and I, I just tuck it in. I wear it with cardigans. I can dress it up. It is so good, but you can get them in black and white and I don't know, I'll link everything down below, but I've been loving this uh, tank top just for the summer. And then of course, yes, these shorts. Again, they're the best shorts. I honestly feel like I should just buy another pair. Like I wear them that often. Yeah, I have like two main slippers I keep wearing, but these are way more affordable. Um, they're from Amazon as well. I pretty much just walk around the house in them, but I also really like these Ugg slippers. Um, they're a lot more pricey, but you can tell the quality's fab. And then these bracelets, um, I know you've seen them before, the Victoria Emerson bracelets, which she is having another sale. So I am a Victoria Emerson partner. You know, she sends me things here and there, and I just love her pieces, but I actually, I need to show you this. I literally, like, I think it was yesterday, I organized my top drawer of my jewelry. Let me just, let me just show you. It is so beautiful. Guys, I love it. <laughs> okay, are you ready? <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks so good. It looks so good. Okay, so here are the boho cuffs that I'm always raving about because they are the magnetic closure. So as you can see, it's just like, it, I always say it's like instant arm candy. It's the, actually the one I'm wearing right here. The one on the end there is like a bestseller. Uh, so I love those. And then these are the classic wraps, which I just actually have them stacked here. But I love them in neutral colors, but I also love a little pop of color, especially for summer. And then over here are the leather wraps, which are really pretty. Again, so perfect to just stack with like a watch or something like that. And then these are actually ones that I got for gifts. So that's what I love to do. I like to pick up a couple extra. Um, well, lately she's actually been sending them to me, but before I would order a couple extra and uh, use them as gifts. So I've given them to my son's teachers for you know saying thank you at the end of the year. I throw them into like birthday bags and stuff like that. And they're just really, cute. So anyway, if you happen to be interested, I'm pretty sure the sale is like, I think it's up to 45% off. So that's just really good. So I'll have everything linked down below if you happen to be interested. But while we're up here, let's just take a quick minute to reminisce my, one of, one of my favorite transformations of this house, which was this closet. Let's roll the old footage. And this is what it is now, which I know like you've seen this all before, but I love it. Do you wanna see real life? This is real life. It doesn't look that good. Yes, I'm still using this. It's amazing. Coffee, laundry. Okay, so here we are in my living room and even this, like we, like this house, my goodness, when we first moved in, it was like a coloring box. We changed the kitchen, that was bad. Honestly, the kitchen though, I don't think, that's the one thing about this house. The kitchen is not ideal. That is okay. We have a lot of land, not that you can see it. That's kind of why we bought the house. Um, and we love this window, like there's sunsets at night. Like it's just a beautiful piece of property and we've made changes along the way. So uh, I wanted to, I guess, go over a few things. So I'm first gonna share with you the uh, patio renovation. So unfortunately, I didn't know I was gonna make this video, so I didn't take a lot of before footage. I think I did on my phone, so unfortunately the, the footage is kind of like the long ways, but we had this berry patch in the backyard, which we have a, like a very large backyard, which is 
just great. Um, but we, it, there's a berry patch back there and it was just thorns. There really wasn't any berries. It was weeds, it was ugly. And every time we were out there, we just thought it would be so cool to have like a big patio with a fire pit, like an eating space. And so that's what we did. And so I will go out there and I will show you what it looks like now. We came up with this stone design and a very, very large fire pit. The fire pit is crazy long and I feel like a lot of people be like, why did you need it that big? But like I said, we have so much land and Josh is constantly, like we have pallets and wood and branches and it's just nice to throw everything in and not worry about cutting it up so we've had some really big bonfires we've had little fires just to like cook hot dogs and stuff and then on the other side we do have a table and chairs and there's an umbrella and it's just really nice to make food on the fire go over there and sit out we can have although with everything going on we haven't been you know having parties or anything but ideally in the future we would like to have more parties outside and it's just so nice and serene out there I just absolutely love it and I love the the color tone of the stones we picked it was a nice mix of like beiges and grays and very neutrals no like weird yellow undertones or anything I'm really happy with the way it turned out I feel like it's a nice size that doesn't overpower our big yard either although we do have to fix the grass back there because just the construction equipment and everything really tore up our grass so we had to replant the grass and now it doesn't match the old grass I think it'll be fine we just need to kind of like spread out more seedling and even it out and it'll be fine but anyway so that's that renovation then I want to tell you about a garage renovation that we did so we have actually two garages in this house the first being just the main one the second one being um, it's on the other side of the house actually and it's kind of Josh's workspace and he like does all kind of stuff down there I don't need to show you that but it's cool that we have that so this other main garage is two stalls and it basically just had a lot of junk it was very unorganized from when we moved in and so we wanted to just completely revamp it so I will be inserting footage here showing just what it looked like before we had to you know take everything out um, Josh decided to paint the walls so that everything was a nice white color and then what else did we do uh, well yeah the main thing was the epoxy flooring so um, I love garage epoxy flooring there's so many different types that you you can get but it really just makes uh, the garage it just completely jazzes the whole thing up it makes makes it so the floor isn't slippery it makes it so you can like easily spray water and just wipe it down it basically just elevates the entire garage and honestly I don't think it's it's not even that pricey to do we did end up doing kind of like an upgraded epoxy flooring I think usually it's about a thousand dollars and ours was it was more than a little bit more than that because we had this kind of like textured flooring and of course I don't know obviously I have like this eye for the more expensive things I had no idea what I picked was like a teeny bit more expensive but it was it's fine it was good I love the coloring and then John Josh actually got online and he ordered custom uh, cabinets and so oh my goodness though it has been a process to put those together when they arrived it was just a total just a total like unorganized mess like I we just ordered so many things in different configurations and it arrived all not put together so Josh had to figure out what box went with what thing and there was really no instructions so honestly I'm not gonna really recommend them to you because he had to literally just figure it all out by himself uh, but there was lots of different textures for like the cabinet colors and there's just all kinds of choices so we went with this kind of like striped dark brown beigey wood tone um, I wanted something that would hide dirt but still looked a little bit stylish uh, something that would also kind of go okay with the flooring and I feel like it turned out so good there's also like a workbench area there's just a lot of storage so basically we can you know have everything be full in the garage but still look really nice and organized and now we know where everything is as well so that is the garage renovation so i just wanted to kind of like tell you guys about that i don't know you don't have to do that much to make it look 
so much better. I also wanted to share with you a couple outdoor furniture pieces we got because I feel like that can really renovate a space very easily. So obviously I already showed you the outdoor picnic table set. It's actually like a teak table with really beautiful wicker chairs. That was on the main patio. So everything that I mentioned, like I said, I can link down below. Hopefully it's also available. But um, then on our deck, we have a deck in the back of our house. It's actually pretty big and we really weren't sure what to put there because the window is so big in our living room and I didn't want that view to be obstructed. And so I really only wanted um, patio furniture on the very end of the deck and I found it, I think it's at Lowe's, and it's just so nice. I feel like it was a really great price. Um, it's kind of like a restaurant style bench seating, but also chair seating as well. It looks like real wood, kind of, but it's like a metal wood, so it can leave everything out there all the time. I don't ever have to cover it. It looks great. I love it. We also added a few pieces to the outside of our house just so that we could sit on the front porch of our house and enjoy like a cup of coffee in the morning. And then down on our like, other patio, we have like a, a decent amount of patios, but um, this main patio like right in the back of our house, uh, it's just like this big open space which is really cool for the kids to ride their bikes and stuff. But uh, in the corner I added two nice comfy chairs along with a little stool so again, I can sit out there while the kids are playing and it's just a nice little piece and spot that kind of like grounds the space. Oh my gosh, I should have fixed this pillow in the background the whole time. That's oh, that's gonna bother me. Anyway, this is our uh, restoration hardware sofa. I get a lot of questions about it. It's white. Guys, I love it. I love it so much. We have kids. That is okay. It's so comfy. It's It was definitely worth it. Um, I know um, people probably would be scared to have a white couch, which you don't have to get it in white, um, but we haven't had any problems with it. We've washed a couple of the um, pillow covers like one time. It was just this one and this one. Uh, I noticed there's a, like a little tinge of like, it just looked a little different. I think the kids sit here and put their feet right here and we let them outside in their bare feet all the time. Um, but it washed out like it's perfect. Um, so highly recommend this couch. Now we're gonna go into my bedroom. Real life people, unmade bed. I need to take my own YouTube advice. Wake up in the morning and make your bed. Okay, so we're going into uncharted territory. My bathroom. Uh, that's not cleaned at all. I literally decided to not clean it for you guys to see what it really looks like. Uh, yeah, so not ideal, that's okay. And then this jet tub, never gonna run the jets. Kids toy still in there. This countertop, honestly, I don't even mind the big vanity. Um, we're, we're completely revamping. I mean, literally, we're revamping everything. This whole thing is gonna be so it's gonna be so good. We've waited a while to, to like move forward because I really wanted it to be good and I wanted it to, it's just gonna be so good. It's gonna be like a shower room. That like walls are coming down. It's gonna be like open concept, but it's just so cool. So that's happening fairly soon. I'll obviously show you guys the process like the before and the after. We're going with this company that uh, it's, they just have really helped me through the process. I haven't even hung that photo and oh my goodness, the toilet seat is down and the toilet paper doesn't even, it's not on the wall, it's, it could be worse. So you might be wondering like, Shay, what was that shower that you filmed other videos in? And that was this shower. So this is another bathroom we have and the shower is a lot better. It's pretty good. Let me just open it. There's a few things I don't love. I wish it was brighter, you know, it's a little dim in there. Um, also the people that lived before here before us were older, so they installed these things for safety. Um, but overall, not too bad. Okay, so here we are in the basement. This is another spot where I film a lot of my YouTube videos. Um, I've got lighting, audio, backdrops, everything. This whole basement actually is pretty darn big, but this area is like right in the middle of everything, so I wanna move it. Another room in our basement, which I've never shown you guys before, is this big room, which is a big junk room, essentially. I mean, it's really bad. I mean, look at that ceiling fan, it's just junk, it's just junk. I mean, at least there's a bed, but we wanna turn this entire room into a big filming studio. How cool would that be with like lighting on the ceiling, audio, just like everything, different backdrops, different sets and scenery. Um, that's actually Josh's office in there, which I'll keep that a secret because that's his space, but it's pretty cool. Anyways, uh, you guys probably don't care about this at all. I just thought I would share, just, just share a few things that I don't normally talk about. Whew, okay, so I'm back outside. Uh, we just finished filming all of the footage. It's pretty hot here, but I hope you enjoyed this little house update video. Stay tuned for the changes that are 
coming our way in the next few months. Um, and then everything that I showed in today's video, I'll try to have linked down in the description box below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye.